Have you heard the saying, champagne on a beer budget? This little house is a perfect example of what you can do for massive impact for next to no money. You've got the bones, you've got a beautiful little semi or bungalow with all the pretty little lace work. There's just a few problems. It's not very inviting. So straight away, I reckon we get rid of that mission brand. It's amazing what you can do with a coat of paint. Then I reckon we throw in your classic white picket fence, a little garden in front of it, and completely transform this place for around the $1,000 mark. I'm going to build the quickest, cheapest and easiest picket fence you can do. Now, as far as materials go, I picked up these 1.5 pickets, but if I cut them in half, sort of halving the price. And for the posts, I'm using 150 by 50 sleepers. These are about $10 each. Cutting them in half, the posts are costing me 5 bucks. Now, it doesn't get any cheaper than that. I've ripped the saw through it many times. It comes out easy with the chisel. Have a look at that. I am definitely not a carpenter, but it'll do the job. Get a coat of paint in there at a minimum, but if you can paint the whole post even better, it just seals it off and gives it another layer of protection. Now, by running two string lines, I can get where the post is going to be down at ground level, and I can get it parallel this way, which means it's plumb, and I can also set my post so they'll all be at the right height. And the string line doesn't lie, so the letterbox has definitely got to come out. <laughs> now, when you're buying your timber, it's important that you run your eye over it. Don't just pick up the first bit you get. Sort through it, try and get something that's dead straight. An important thing to remember, none of the pickets touch the string line. As soon as you start to touch the string line, you start to bend that line, and your pickets will end up looking like a roller coaster. We are the patient dreamers. Now, man, a bit of pop. The colour is called sulphur. And the inspiration? Well, it's my favourite wiggle. Believe in superstition, they always fade. They fade at first light. Paint your gate like this, it's a great way to put your house on the map. The fate that we've been waiting for is here for us to make it. Now, everything we're going to paint, which is all the mission brown, I'm just going to give it a light sand. Looks better already. Now, the little house is looking a treat. The more sophisticated charcoal is in. There's still bars on that window and it lets it down a bit. So to dress it up and make it look a little bit less sort of security, we've got some brachycomb and some planters to sit underneath it. They'll flower like that all year round and I'll put a smile underneath that window. One of the best ways to keep your budget down is to source your plants for free. Whether it be for a mum and dad or a friend, maybe look online, see what people are throwing out. But this one here in the backyard is Sansevieria. It's better known as mother-in-law's tongue or the sword plant. The reason why it gets its name is pretty obvious. Rewind 20 years and you would have been paid well over 100 bucks for these agaves. They were as rare as hen's teeth and they were a hot commodity. Well, nurseries bred them, people propagated them, and now they're really common and you see them in the council throwout. But if I chop them out, plant them at the back and plant them lower, they'll look really nice. Now, across the front, I'm spending a little bit of our money on plants. So we've got power, 
and more of the brachycone, which is the plant underneath the windowsill. These guys don't mind a haircut once a year. You cut them back down to stubble and all the new growth comes through. But they thrive on neglect. Now, did I splurge and buy a new letterbox? No. But by getting rid of the ugly post and tying it into the picket fence, it's as cute as any new one, and it's cost me nada. Well, there you go. Now, I was aiming to spend 1000 but I've gone up to 1200 because I got carried away. And I guarantee you, once you start, you will as well. I've got a few extra plants, but I like the look, and it was money well spent. What do you think, Dan? This place has gone from drab and not memorable to definitely memorable and looks like it's loved. Come on, let's go.